and what we're riding out, it should be about a nine plus hour swim. Joe has been swimming with us for about three or four years. He started swimming with us. He did the Catalina Channel, I think three years ago. Then he did the year after, he did the English Channel and he just kind of joined us as a group. And he's, he's probably, I would consider him the best open water swimmer in the Bay Area. He's big, he's tough. He's a good swimmer. He's, he uh, played water polo at Harvard, and and he's mentally, he's mentally the toughest. And he also has a unique situation. He tends to get seasick while swimming, and I always joke with him, you know. So he he tends to throw up once in a while while he swims too. I mean, he is he's wow. that tough. I've done two previous attempts. The first attempt, we got about an hour and a half out, and we had 15 to 20 foot swells with white caps, and it was just beating up my escort boat. And I couldn't see them, and they couldn't see me. And it just got to the point where we're in the middle of a shipping channel with no visibility. It just seemed dangerous, so we pulled the swim. That was the first attempt. And the last attempt, we did about a month ago. And I've got a really bad, um, kind of muscle spasm cramp in my hip flexor. And I swam for another three hours with that, but it was just destroying my stroke. I couldn't keep my stroke rate up. I kept having to stop. Um, the cold was pretty tough. And so we got about 20 miles of the 26 miles. You could smell the island, you could see it, but the tide was pushing me back and you know, we decided to pull the swim. I just hope Joe makes it. I mean, I think this story would be just epic if Joe makes it. I mean, if you guys get the footage of the first person to make it that direction, it would be just unbelievable. The water's warm enough, but it, it could be windy. I mean, there's just so many parameters out there that trip you up. You know, every, every attempt's a, a new adventure. I, I mean, we got, we got one weekend left, and then now my boat captain's off for the summer, and that's it. It was a rough day. I, mean, I saw people get sick who I've never seen get sick before. Every 30 minutes, I'm eating Perpetuum, which is a whey powder. It's basically a carbohydrate with protein mixture. It tastes terrible. It completely trashes your stomach. I, I kicked it up too high with the escort swimmers. And that's, that's where um, yeah, I noticed that, that I was off. 
when you're in the cold and you make a mistake, it's just not forgiving. You're done. So I blew out my hip flexor yet again and I need to head out a lot slower. You know, I just think it was my own fault going out too hard. I think anytime you, um, you're in a restrained situation and you don't conserve your energy properly, you're going to have problems. And that's just my weak point. There's a fine line between mentally tough and bad judgment. I was annoyed. It would have been nice to have gotten a little further or to finish this one. And the conditions were better this time. Well, yeah, they were different. <laughs> I gotta get the grease off of it. It's the, uh, it's the crew, it's the camaraderie. Having, having everybody there, you know, having people feed our canvas for you, and you know, just the team that you, you get from doing this is, is hands down the best part. And I, I love swimming outside in, in the open water. Any day swimming outside is, is a good day, even if the swim doesn't go well. So the great thing about these swims is you come in with, with the unknown and you get a little smarter each time. There's still a lot you can't bargain for, but each one you figure it out. Thank you.